Do you know why flags are not purple? Do you know what the most expensive passport is? Do you know the four colors of passports? Do you know the one time the world saved itself and agreed on something? There's a lot of fun trivia facts that they don't teach us at school. And honestly, I wish they did because it's so interesting. The following video is a collection of information that we found from around the world that will make you the most interesting person in the room after you learn them. Take it away. Did you know that there's one forbidden color you will not find on any flag in the world? Purple. National flags don't have purple. But why? Let me take you on a trip all around the world to discover the truth about flags that their countries don't want you to know about. When it's the World Cup or the Olympics and you see your flag, you start singing your anthem with your friends and you start feeling super proud. Why? Because your country's flag is unique and because it means something special to you. For example, here in Brazil, the flag looks like the country. It's green like the rainforest, yellow because of the gold they have, and blue like the sky. Here in France, flag's colors represent the country's values. Blue, white, red, for freedom, equality, brotherhood. Or as they say, liberté, égalité, fraternité. In fact, that flag and those values got so popular that many countries started to copy it. Italy, Ireland, Belgium, Romania, Mexico, and many others have three stripes as well. In the same way, Ethiopia's flag was a huge influence all over Africa because Ethiopia is the one country that resisted the most against the colonizers. Another popular flag is the American one. Liberia basically copied it because it was founded by freed slaves from the US. Even Brazil had a flag that looked like this, but it only lasted four days. Over here in the Arab world, most flags are red, black, white, and green because they come from the one pan-Arab flag. And that's the one they used to all rally and break free from the Ottoman Empire. Other Arab countries like Algeria and Tunisia prefer to go with the crescent moon of Islam to pay tribute to their Muslim roots. Likewise, in the land of the Viking, they're all having crosses on their flags because they're mostly Christians. And that flag, Denmark's, is said to be over 800 years old, making it the oldest in the world. And also, did you notice that all flags are rectangles except for three? The Vatican flag and Switzerland's flag are squares, while Nepal's looks like this. No matter where you go, the one color you will not find on any flag is purple. Because not so long ago, the only way to get some purple was from a tiny sea snail that you could only find in one small region of Lebanon. To create just one gram of purple, you needed more than 10,000 snails. So no country could afford covering its entire flag with it. Your country's flag is part of who you are, and it's also part of your culture. And the beautiful thing is that no matter where you go in the world, you know that whenever you see it, you'll feel a little bit closer to home. Did you know that there was only one time in the history of the world where all the countries in the world agreed on something? That's right, they couldn't agree on borders, they couldn't agree on politics, they couldn't even agree on how to deal with COVID, but the one thing all the countries in the world agreed on was saving the ozone layer. This is the story of how the world can save itself. The protective ozone layer is being threatened as never before. We're all at risk. In the 80s, scientists found a hole in the ozone layer. The sun can be dangerous, and the ozone is protecting us just like sunscreen. Refrigerators, air conditioners, and fire extinguishers were releasing a gas called CFC that created this giant hole. And if nobody did anything about it, the ozone layer was going to be destroyed by 2050. Over half the ozone layer destroyed above Antarctica in a decade. That's why 36 years ago, 20 countries met in Vienna to make a plan on how to stop this. They opened the bank accounts for poor countries to make sure everyone would afford not using CFCs. Almost 200 countries got together and agreed to stop making and using that gas. If the countries of the world engaged in similar deliberations for every issue that faces our world, 
I would be very happy. Now, CFCs are gone. The ozone hole is shrinking. It went from this to this. And the ozone problem is fixed. Yes, fixed. When countries come together, problems get solved. In 2018, Indonesia was hit by an earthquake and a tsunami killing thousands. 20 countries including the US, Great Britain, Australia, South Korea, provided help by donating food, shelter, fuel, water, and medicine. Within a year, the country got back on its feet. That same year in Thailand, 12 boys and their football coach were trapped deep in a cave for 17 days because of heavy rains and floods. Rescue teams from the US, UK, Australia, and Belgium flew in to help them get out. In 2021, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan finally agreed to share their border. And now people from both countries can get more land and water, do more business, and meet their families on the other side. Earlier this year, when India was suffering from the second wave of COVID-19, many countries like Australia, Germany, France sent medical kits, oxygen tanks, and vaccines to support the country. Even their political enemies, China and Pakistan, gave a hand. And now, the COVID situation is a lot better there. World hunger, climate change, poverty. These issues can be fixed when all countries come together. If we've done it before the ozone layer, we can do it again. This is the most expensive passport in the world. It will cost you up to $800 to renew it. And it even costs $5,000 on the black market. All the passports in the world have crazy secrets that their countries don't want you to know about. But today, I'm going to share with you all of them. If you take a passport and a blue light, you might see the coolest thing. Canada's passport has a beautiful painting full of colors. Hungary's passport has the music score of one of the most popular songs in the country. Norway's passport shows the polar lights, just like the ones you see in the Norwegian sky. This technology isn't just to look fancy, it makes the passports almost impossible to fake. The most beautiful passport has to be Japan's. Just look at those beautiful drawings. And the most creative passport is Finland's. It's literally a flipbook that makes a swan fly away. Passports can only have four colors, red, blue, green, and black. But the crazy thing is, only seven countries have the black passport. Angola, Congo, Malawi, Trinidad and Tobago, Tajikistan, Palestine, and New Zealand. New Zealand loves black so much, they made it their national color and named their rugby team All Blacks. There's only one person in the world that can travel without a passport, and that person is the Queen of England. No other king or queen has this privilege. Not even her own family, not even the Pope. Just how contagious his smile is. Everybody loves traveling. That's why everybody loves passports, except that some passports are way stronger than others. The strongest passports in the world belong to Singapore and Japan. Their citizens can go to 192 countries without a visa. The most expensive passport is the Syrian one. And the crazy thing is, it's one of the weakest in the world. It can only go to 28 countries without a visa. Passports are made with a special paper. And because of the war in Syria, the price of that paper went up. And so did the price of the passport. <laughs> okay, so my passport is Kuwaiti, I'm from Kuwait, but I live in the UAE and that means like when I travel some places, I have to get a visa and that kind of is like a struggle sometimes and you feel like, oh my god, like I wish this passport could take me anywhere. But at the same time, like whenever I go to Kuwait and have my passport with me, I feel so proud to have that passport in Kuwait. No matter where you're from, your passport is a part of who you are. It will follow you in all your adventures, in any country you go to, anywhere in the world. And it will always be there to remind you that you have a home and a country somewhere you can always go back to.